Imagine living in a world where cameras and machines watch every move you make, where you can be punished for breaking the rules or speaking your mind. This is not a science fiction story. This is how the Chinese Communist Party is tracking your every move. How do they do it? Come, let's find out more. The Chinese Communist Party is the only political party that is allowed to rule China. The CCP wants to stay in power and not let anyone challenge or criticize them. To do this, they use many ways to watch what people do and say. This is called tracking. The Chinese Communist Party has been implementing advanced surveillance technologies. This includes monitoring fingerprints, face, voice, handwriting and even the way people walk known as their gait. One way the CCP tracks people is by using cameras that can recognize people's faces. These cameras are everywhere in China, especially in big cities. They can tell who is who by looking at the features of their faces, such as their eyes, nose, mouth and so on. These are called facial recognition technologies. They are very advanced and not easy to fool. Another way the CCP tracks people is by using machines that can recognize people's voices. These machines can tell who is who by listening to the sounds they make when they talk. These are called voice recognition technologies. They are also very advanced and not easy to fool. The CCP uses facial recognition and voice recognition technologies to find and follow people who might oppose or protest against them. They also use them to control and punish people who break their rules or laws. For example, they can find people who jaywalk or cross the street when the light is red. They can also arrest people who say bad things about the CCP or the government. Handwriting recognition is a bit more complex. This involves analyzing a person's handwriting to identify unique patterns and characteristics. This can be used to verify a person's identity or to detect forgeries. Gate recognition is one of the most advanced types of biometric data being used. This involves analyzing the way a person walks. Everyone has a unique way of walking, and this can be used to identify individuals. These technologies are employed for high-tech surveillance targeting specific individuals. The CCP can thus intercept any potential incident before the Chinese population resorts to petitions or protests. This is part of the CCP's stability maintenance efforts. However, the use of such advanced surveillance technologies raises several concerns. One of the main concerns is the invasion of privacy. The constant monitoring of individuals can be seen as a violation of their privacy rights. Another concern is the accuracy of these technologies. While biometric recognition technology has advanced significantly, it is still not perfect. There can be errors in the identification process, which can lead to false positives or false negatives. Furthermore, there are concerns about the potential misuse of this technology. The data collected through these surveillance technologies can be used for nefarious purposes if it falls into the wrong hands. While the CCP's use of advanced surveillance technologies can help maintain stability and security, it also raises several concerns. It is important to strike a balance between security and privacy and to ensure that these technologies are used responsibly. The CCP says that these technologies make China safer and more stable. They say they can help to catch criminals and terrorists. They also say that they help to improve people's lives and services. But some people disagree. They say these technologies violate people's privacy and freedom. They say that they make people afraid and unhappy. They also say that they are used to abuse and oppress people who are not loyal to CCP. The CCP is not the only one who uses these technologies. Other countries and places also use them for different purposes. Some use them to protect people and find crime. Some use them to spy on people and control them. Some use them to help people and improve society. These technologies have both good and bad effects. It depends on how they are used and who uses them. In China, a new trend is emerging in the education sector. Schools are starting to use artificial intelligence and cameras to monitor students. This might sound like something from a science fiction movie, but it's happening right now. The main idea behind this is to improve the learning experience and outcomes for students. AI is being used in various ways in Chinese classrooms. For instance, some schools are using AI-powered headbands that can measure how much a student is concentrating. These headbands can then adjust the teaching to fit the needs of each student. Another way AI is being used is through cameras that can track the behavior of students. These cameras are usually placed above the blackboard in the classroom. They watch the students and can tell if they are paying attention or not. The reason why schools in China are so keen on using AI is because of the competitive nature of the education in the country. In China, doing well academically is seen as a key to success. This has led to willingness to try out new technologies like AI in classrooms. The government is also encouraging the use of AI in schools. They are pushing for the development of smart classrooms and smart learning. This further encourages schools to adapt AI technologies. 
However, not everyone is happy with this new trend. There are concerns about privacy and surveillance. These AI systems are constantly watching the students, and there is little room for error. This can put a lot of pressure on the students. There are also concerns about the accuracy of these AI systems. What if the AI makes a mistake and misinterrupts a student's actions? This could lead to unfair treatment of the student. Another concern is that this type of learning might not be the best for all the students. The AI system tends to focus on one type of learning, which is focused learning. This is when your brain concentrates on a specific path to find a solution. However, this might not be the best way to solve complex problems. By focusing too much on this type of learning, students might not be prepared to face new challenges. Furthermore, this data-driven education system might stifle creativity in children. The system focuses heavily on results, which might not leave much room for creative thinking. Research has shown that taking breaks and allowing the mind to wander can actually boost creativity. But with these AI systems, there is little room for that. While the use of AI in Chinese schools might seem like a good idea at first, many concerns need to be addressed. It's important to find a balance between using technology to improve education and preserving the rights and well-being of the students. The future of education might be AI, but it's crucial to ensure that it's used in a way that benefits everyone. Advanced surveillance technologies have become a common tool for governments and organizations around the world to monitor citizens. While these technologies can help maintain security and order, they also have several downsides. Number one is invasion of privacy. The most obvious downside of surveillance technologies is the invasion of privacy. When individuals are constantly being monitored, it can feel like their personal space is being violated. This can lead to feelings of discomfort and unease. Number two is misuse of information. The information collected through surveillance can be misused in various ways. For instance, it can be used to discriminate against certain groups of people or to suppress dissent. This can lead to a society where people are afraid to express their opinions freely. Number three is false positives. Surveillance technologies are not perfect and can sometimes make mistakes. This can lead to false positives where innocent people are wrongly identified as threats. This can have serious consequences such as wrongful arrest or harassment. Number four is chilling effect on freedom of expression. Knowing that they are being watched can make people hesitant to express their views openly. This can have a chilling effect on freedom of expression and can stifle creativity and innovation. Number 5 is creation of a surveillance state. The widespread use of surveillance technologies can lead to the creation of a surveillance state where the government has extensive control over the lives of its citizens. This can lead to a loss of freedom and can undermine democratic views. At number 6 is inequality in surveillance. Not everyone is equally subjected to surveillance. Certain groups of people such as minorities or people with low incomes may be more heavily surveilled than others. This can lead to inequality and discrimination. The Chinese Communist Party is tracking your every move. What do they want from you? What will they do to you? Comment your thoughts on this and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.